Hey, we are back to the next episode. I have not played this in a little while. Oh, Lumos. no, that's not what I wanted to do. Was it escape? Yes. Okay. So, mm, quest. That's the one I want to do. Reparo. Okay, H. Professor Wheezy has arranged for me to visit the nearby village of Hogsmeade and replace my lost supplies. I should be able to navigate to the different shops using my map. Sebastian Sallow will help me company will keep me company along the way. Okay. Uh Oh, I'm forgetting. I've completely forgotten how to do this game. All right. And I need to go up here, apparently. Okay. Up here we go. Um... Dear, I shall get in trouble for this. Mm. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Oh dear. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Okay. Um. Ooh. No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh. Man. Ooh. Lex, so I'm just. I'm going to have to use Accio to get to those books. How do I get to Accio again? Oh. Oh no. Got it. Only four more to go. Where are these books? Nope. I'm so sorry if you're watching this and being like, wow, you're really bad at this game. Because I haven't played it anymore. Nope. Yeah, I got another one. Saw one up there. Where are you, little books? Being sneaky.
Oh, I definitely saw one. There it is. This must be Cressida's diary. Ooh. I'd want this back too if I were her. The day was a good day. That is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace ring flies. I had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting press Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. Oh. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. I'll brew Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Hmm. I wish you wouldn't have appreciated her reading that. I feel like maybe we need to go up the stairs. Been very noisy in the library. That's Yay! Fuck. Now to take them back to Cressida. <laughs> She's running down the stairs backwards. We. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's there. Hello Cressida, I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Ooh. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for Ooh. my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. I wouldn't do that to you, Cressida. Only trying to teach you to be a little more careful. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Ooh. Ooh. What's that? I need to catch up on my letter writing. I think my owl's getting cobwebs. Owls must be incredibly intelligent to deliver all those letters. Ooh. Hmm. What's up? No one sent oh. me owls. Can't seem to get the smell of dragon dung out of my robes after that last herbology climb. Ugh. What am I missing? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. Mm. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. 
but I'm not sure what to do next. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Mm. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Illuminating? See what they did? You're already at your destination. Oh, it's there. Lumos. Ooh. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Hmm. Try working with a wand that's been passed down for three months. No better feeling than plunging your hands in Mm. Okay. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Uh. Personally, I think it's a thing. Oh, okay. How do I return him? I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Oh. Oh, the frame's just disappeared. I'm totally getting distracted on these quests. Lenora? I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Right. <clears throat> That's another side quest, but I need to do an actual quest. Place is so complex. Crazy. The statues are singing. Okay. I did tell you not to put too much dragon. There he is waiting for me. Fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charm. Finally found him. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides. Oh, there's a ghost. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Ooh. Look for flea flame. Ooh.
I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. I feel like he's flirting. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, Ooh. given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Oh. Wow. Oh, let's just Speaking look back. Detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Wow. Anyway, Glad sorry. I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Oh, went into Professor the Weasley came to retrieve me, mm, and mm. I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Let's just look back at... Oh. So pretty. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, we're coming, Sebastian. Just enjoying the view. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Where's he going? Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at, and if you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Hmm. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Oh, oh. That's cool. Oh, look at it. So pretty. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Oh, there's Hogsmeade. Okay. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Mm. Out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. This is cool. Oh, look at Squirrel. 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 I stepped on the squirrel. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. Yes, it is. It is that. I've been there five years and barely <clears throat> scratched the surface. Loads to see. Places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I'm not going to tell you that. <clears throat> That's between me and me. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Jeez, takes a long time. Down there. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? <gasps> Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. I think he's drunk. Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state.
Moonstone. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. Mm. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. He made it to Hogsmeade. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Very cool. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits? Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, Ooh. have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade Village is bringing you different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide's map. Oh, wow. Hogsmeade maps show shops and points of interest. You can track any of these highlighting an icon and pressing. Press escape, okay. Rudenbeck, a BC spice with the latest and greatest of beast products. Speciality book, okay. An inquiring mind. Looks like I'm looking. <clears throat> Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spell crafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, oh. but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want when you want. Let's have a look. Mm. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Potting table with a small pot, spellcraft, unlocks ability to conjure a potting table with a pot to grow sorts of use. Okay. Oh, how do I earn money? It's a question. Unlocks the ability to conjure small potion station, perfectly suited to all potion praying needs. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I don't have any money.
Okay. All right, back to the map. That's the one I want. Oh, it's just there. Time to get my wand. be right with ah it's you um just a moment please uh, mm. hello sir i'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes i about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerbold olivander's the name but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Ooh. Well, go ahead, swish. Oh. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. I don't think that well, this isn't well. a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, ah, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Mm. Oh, 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 goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Mm, yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Ooh. Okay, so dogwood, dragon heartstring, pliant, and one length two and a half. Ooh. Oh, I can customize me one. How intriguing. Ooh. Hmm, what should we Good go for? Indeed. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. How intriguing. Oh. Hmm. Oh. English oak. indeed. Oh yeah, nice dark one. I like that. Um, not mind. Whippy, reasonably supple, slightly springy, quite flexible, very flexible, fairly bendy, solid, stiff, rigid, and bending, slightly yielding and yielding. Let's go with reasonably How supple. Oh, wand core, dragon heartstring. 
unicorn hair. I want a unicorn hmm. hair. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Here we go. That's my wand. Oh. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Very cool. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Oh, very nice. Right, is that what's that? Something supplies. Bonkos, <sighs> honey juice. Uh, right, let's go to the map. Magic something. Oh man, the smiles. Mm. I mean, it probably isn't. Oh. Uh, oh, we went the wrong way. Oh man. All oh, right, yep, there we go. That is Pippin's potions. Welcome to dear Pippin's potions. Hmm. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness! When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here, though. I don't believe I've seen your face here before either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art, potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Mm. What can I do for you today? A uh, recipe for potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Recipe for healing, for a healing potion. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Well, thank you. Right. Magic Neep. Hmm. 
I bought it and I got it. Hm. Well, hello there. Ooh. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. <laughs> Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a package of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Unlocks the ability to grow Dittany in small pots. Okay. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Yep. Oh. Oh no. Yep, there we go. Yeah. The Sonkos. Cool. Up here, isn't he? There he is. Oh, no. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Ooh. Oh my goodness. So slow. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no, no. I don't want to repair him. What am I doing? We'll wear them down eventually. Oh no! Beach. What was that? 
A taste of his own medicine. Take what you've done. Oh no. <laughs> really hard. Right, let's try again. Oh my gosh. Got killed by a troll. Try again. Okay. I'm very good at this. I repaired the troll. Like, what was I thinking? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Potato. Oh no. I don't need to do that. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Die again. Right, we'll do one more try. Three hours later. Oh my god. Where am I meant to go? Fucking game. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We'll wear it down eventually.
Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourself? No. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's yeah. beard. May have got Are my husband right? to defeat that troll for me, because we I couldn't freaking do it. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. <sighs> Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Well, that was just an absolute disaster. I'm not very good at... <laughs> oh, uh, stuff. Uh, that didn't go very well. First boss and I couldn't even do it. Let's get my husband to do it. Oh, there's a cat. Talk to the cat. Oh. That's it? Oh. Uh, right. Um. Repair. Lucky they didn't do more. Officer Singer to worry about. Repairer. Mm. What's it? It's four, isn't it? Yeah. Uh. Oh my god, so bad at this stuff. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time.
You won't be disappointed. That's a glad. Oh, um. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy mm. items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Hmm. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Hmm. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Mm. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <clears throat> <sighs> How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Mm. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. 
Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Ooh. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Harlow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Access the map. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Select the Hogwarts map. Okay. Woohoo, I actually completed a quest. Okay, we're going to save the game. Okay, and then we're going to exit again. So, that didn't really go very well. So, we think we've worked out I'm not very good at these uh, these games, but it'll still be fun to explore Hogwarts and look around, and uh, when it comes to defeating the big bad guys, I'll just get Leon to do it. But yeah, we'll continue soon. See you in the next one.